Hey, if you're looking for how to plot a grid coordinate, you came to the right place. So let's get to this. And if you enjoy the content of the video, make sure you hit the like and the subscribe button, hit that notification bell so you can stay up to date. And in this video, we'll be using a military protractor, a mechanical pencil, and a mat. All right, let's do this. All right, so I got my mat, I got my protractor, and a lime green mechanical pencil. Now, you don't have to use a lime green one. You can use any one that you got. Uh, but you just want to make sure that the tip is as fine as you can. So why do I want to use a fine tip mechanical pencil over something that I've sharpened or a pen? Now, I'm going to zoom in a little bit closer here. And let's look. I'm gonna, just going to take a small pen I'm going to thin the map gods that are out there and I'm going to make a small mark right there with my pen there we go you see that and then if I take my protractor and I measure it I can see that that point is almost 50 meters almost 50 meters man how ridiculously crazy is that and if I make that same error here and I make the same error to where I'm going to not only is my distance going to be inaccurate but my direction is going to be inaccurate everything's going to be inaccurate and i want to try to eliminate all the inaccuracies i can as i'm putting everything on a map so i want everything as perfect as i can on a map so do yourself a favor double check everything if you need to measure twice cut once measure three times if you need to just make sure that what you put on the map is correct all right so let's plot our first point the first point that we're going to look at is two four three zero zero two three six so I read my maps to the right and up. So I read over to 24 and then up to 02. So I know I'm going to be plotting somewhere in this grid square right here. Now, a thousand meters is not accurate enough for anything. Even if somebody told me to go to the body of water in 2402, which we can see right here, it's not accurate enough because if I'm coming from another location, I may assume that I'm in 2402, but I'm actually not. The next level of accuracy is going to be a six digit and that's going to get me to within 100 meters and of course 100 meters man still again it's just over 300 feet and if i'm looking for a specific major train feature uh you know a six digit might be close enough but i want to try to get a little bit closer so now i'm going to be looking for an eight digit and an eight digit is going to get me down to 10 meters or just around 33 feet so i'm going to take my protractor i'm going to set it down on the bottom left hand corner of 2402, 2402, there's my zero, zero mark right there. And I'm gonna slide my protractor to the right until the three is right in line with the grid line right here of two, four. And now I'm ready to read up to three, six. So I'm going to read up to three, and since it's a six, since that last digit is a six, it's going to be just above this hash mark right here. So I can see that it's right at the corner of this triangle right there, right? So when you're ready to mark, you want to make sure that you slide your protractor over to the left a little bit, and then make your mark. And then you put your protractor back down, and then slide back over to three zero and read up to three six. Now my mark is a little off, so that's not a big deal. So we're gonna erase that. And I'm gonna put it to where I think it is right there. And again, this is why you measure twice and cut once. Read back over to three zero and up to three six. So I wanna make sure that that lead mark from my pencil is directly underneath the black line on my protractor. So I'm just gonna raise it up and then lower it back down to make sure that it's good to go. And once you got that, you're set. Now, if you need to, right, just take and draw a circle around it. If you draw a circle there, you know, it'll help you come back and find it later on down the road if you need to. All right, so the next one that we're gonna plot is gonna be 2495 -0293. So again, I'm gonna put my protractor back down on 2402, and I'm gonna slide my protractor to the right all the way out to 95. And then I'm gonna read up to 93. So the 93 is gonna be in between the nine and the hash mark in between the nine and the 10, right? So again, I'm gonna slide my protractor over to the right. Tiniest mark there, send my protractor back down, 
nine five, got it there, and then nine three. Man, that booger's right on the mark. It's almost like I've done this a couple times. And I'm gonna set a mark there. Now I've got uh, two points here. And the last, I'm gonna leave you uh, with one more thing here other than just plotting the points and it's gonna be determining an azimuth. So if I set my protractor down and I get one edge where I'm starting from and one edge where I'm going, I can put a mark out here and I'm gonna put it way out here because I'm not gonna be moving out here. I'm moving in this grid square, so I don't care if I get a little pencil mark way out here, right? And then I'll take my protractor. The center of my protractor has a little hole in it right here, right? So I'm gonna put that right over where I'm starting from, and I'm gonna ensure that these black lines are perpend perpendicular and parallel to the grid lines on my map. I'm gonna take a piece of paper and I'm gonna line it from where I'm starting from, off over, going to where I'm going. I got my black line there, and I can see that that is like right at 49 degrees. And of course, that is a grid azimuth. So you always wanna make sure that you understand that. Now, if you're ready to use a compass, you just convert uh, using your GM angle that you can find on your map, and you're ready to, to set out all right, everybody, so there you have it. Went through the process of how to plot an eight-digit grid coordinate. And if you enjoyed the content of the video, make sure you hit the like and the subscribe button. Hit the notification bell so you can stay up to date on future videos. Most importantly, though, if there was something that you enjoyed about the video or something that left you with a little bit of a question or a comment that you just want to add into the conversation, make sure you leave a comment down below so we can keep the conversation rolling. And as always, man, we'll see you.